<laughs> How did you think uh, Senator Clinton did tonight, Jamal? Oh, I thought she did fine. She's, uh, you know, she's always pretty good in these kind of environments. Um, she's a very great speaker, and um, you know, a lot of Democrats are, are, you know, admire her a lot. I think the the problem is, though, the issue is that that Barack Obama just seems to be a better candidate for president. Um, he actually wants to make the change that people want. Uh, he really embodies that change. And if you if you think about Barack Obama's story, it's so similar to a story of a candidate like Bill Clinton, where he was born to a you know a mother who didn't have his father around and he you know got himself into school he went back home instead of taking a, a you know a, an expensive job someplace in Wall Street or New York and he really has been devoted his life to the service um, of people and I think Americans will respond to that very well Kiki how did you think your candidate did tonight well listen I think she did great I have so much admiration for Hillary Clinton and the kind of grueling schedule she's been on for a year now in this campaign and the grace with which she does it and I think that's what's gonna make her a terrific president I, I have to say one thing to make sure Jamal remembers this there is something that Bill Clinton had when he ran for president and that was a record as 12 years as governor he dealt with balanced budgets he dealt with major trade issues so he had a lot more experience but in terms of her performance tonight it's what it has been every step of the way it's about getting information to voters what she's going to do as commander-in-chief, how she's going to fix this economy, and she listens. She wants to she, know what's going on in the lives of these people, and I think it's one of the reasons she really connects in places like Pennsylvania also, and Ohio. She's also tenacious. She is. You know what? This is one of the great things. I don't want a president who's going to back down at the first blush of trouble. I want a president who knows where she stands, is willing to take that stand, and willing Let's to bring it. people to the table to help here's her. The, here's the problem, Larry. Uh, this is a family fight, you know, and in family fights, you don't fight the same way that you fight when you're fighting people outside of the House. And so what Hillary Clinton is doing, the way she's waging this campaign against Barack Obama has been one of the most negative campaigns, you know, I've seen in the last 16 years that I've been involved in politics between two Democrats. Now, when you're fighting Republicans, you know, everybody, Democrats are all rallied around, they're ready to go ahead and go to the mattresses. But when you're fighting Democrats, um, it's just so negative that I think it's but turning a lot said, of people off, and you're seeing not. that reflected in, in Senator me, Clinton's polling number. Let me get a call in San Diego. Yeah. Hello. Hey, hello. My question for the panel is, why do you think that the news media, most specifically not CNN, but the other guys, are so adamant and basically hell-bent on wanting Hillary to drop out of the race, even if she wins tomorrow's primary by a small margin, say five to seven points? It's like a horse race. You don't stop when you're running down the stretch and your neck... Uh, All right, Kiki, do you think the news media wants her to drop out? Well, look, I think there are people who want the race to go on because it's uh, very entertaining and exciting in the media. I think there are people who have their own opinions that they haven't hidden so well when they've been engaged in supposed unbiased journalism. But more importantly, I think that the voters get this and they've figured it out. I think there have been a few instances where journalists have been trying to deal with a new day where a woman is running for president where we're making history with a woman and an African-American as our leading candidates for president of the United States. But I think the American people have a great way, and a democracy has a great way of, of bringing uh, reporters, activists, volunteer supporters, and candidates to account. You know, there's nothing I love more than Election Day, because I wake up fired up because everybody gets to have a role in democracy, and maybe I've been watching too much of the John Adams series <laughs> lately. But yeah. I, I think Americans have a way of keeping things in check. So, yeah, I think there have been moments where it's been a little yeah. out of control. But you know what, Larry? She can take the heat in the kitchen. I think uh, she can take, take some of these world leaders, so she can deal with a few reporters. We're going to take...